In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to use the basic MRP functions. This video is designed for Chief of Fleet Operations Officers only. First, you will need to access the MRP calculation sheet, the leaderboard sheet, and your combat log parser program. You can access the MRP sheets from the MRP page on the website, or make your own bookmarks. Go to the MRP page on the website. Select the MRP calculations sheet. Go back to the website and select the leaderboard sheet. Start your STO combat meter. Now go back to the calculation sheet. In the select mission area, choose the mission you just ran. For example, Hive Onslaught. Now check the mission settings are correct. If the traffic light has a red stop illuminated then you need to make changes. Here we need to deselect the NPE checkbox. Now we can see the traffic light is illuminated green and says go. Switch back to the combat log parser and select all the details as shown by holding down the left mouse button. Then use Ctrl and C to copy the details to your clipboard. Go back to the calculation sheet and select the SCN data entry sheet. Select the entire sheet by clicking the square cell to the left of column A, and above row 1. Then, paste your data from the combat log meter using the Ctrl key and V. Go back to the MRP results sheet. Now check that any special events criteria are ticked for each player. You will need to make a note of whether each player qualifies either before you start the event, or ask them afterwards. Have a quick look to see if all the values look fine and there are no errors showing. Select and copy to the clipboard, the highlighted results line. Paste these results into the SRS Armada chat, in the game chat box. Go to the end of the leaderboard sheet by pressing the N key. Click the update button. Acknowledge the Mission Entry Logged button by clicking OK. Select your name from the list. Go back to the calculation sheet and click the Played button. This will update every player's daily bonus to zero. Select the NPE mission you have just completed, in this example we will use Azure Nebula Rescue. Go to your combat log parser, this time copying only the names from the results. Go back to the calculation sheet and select the non-parsable sheet. Select cell A4 and paste your values. This should populate the sheet with only the player names. Switch to the MRP results sheet. Select the NPE checkbox. Note the warnings on the sheet. Select the results cell like before. Once you have made sure any special event checkboxes are ticked, paste into SRS Armada chat. Fill in the leaderboard sheet as before. Select the random TFO mission. Note, this is just a mission descriptor, it is not the final mission you will use to obtain the scores. Copy the mission title into the SRS Armada chat as usual. After the mission is complete, go to the calculation sheet, select the mission you actually ran. In this case it was, infected, the conduit. Select the random TFO checkbox. Double check all other checkboxes are correct, for example if it was an NPE mission or not. Now we will look at a ground mission. This is very similar, just a few different checkboxes to select. Here we see the mission, Cure Applied. This is an NPE mission and the checkboxes for ground should be ticked. For ground missions, the uniform checkbox can also be ticked if the player is wearing an official SRS uniform. Check the website if you are unsure of what constitutes an SRS uniform.
Now we will look at the cryptic mission replay setup. Select the mission descriptor, in this case a parsed mission replay. Select the checkbox for MR, mission replay and COMB, combined, if it includes ground and space combat. If it is just space then select that instead. Mission replays are always set to a minimum of 3600 seconds, or 1 hour. If the mission replay is longer than this, then the checkbox need not be checked. In some missions it may be deemed necessary to increase the mission duration. To do this, simply type in the number that you want. Now we are looking at elite missions. Some elite missions give an extra bonus, such as, the Battle of Corfez. If the elite challenge parameters are satisfied, then you may tick the box to add the bonus MRP to the score. That concludes the MRP training tutorial.